One of the most clandestine gatherings in the world seems to be lifting the veils of secrecy. The Bilderberg Group is famously shy of press attention, but this year its annual confab is inundated with reporters from some of the world's top media outlets. Artie Sarah Firth went to Watford near London to try and find out what the world's most powerful group might be talking about. Welcome to Bilderberg 2013. It's the gathering of world leaders and it's taking place here in Watford in the UK. So at the exclusive hotel, you can see about a quarter of a mile in the distance there, and perhaps not the most glamorous of locations for the 140 delegates who are expected to attend. Among them, some big names. We've got the Chancellor, George Osborne. We've got his Labour counterpart, Ed Balls, as well as the former US Secretary of State, uh, Henry Kissinger. We've got the former head of the CIA, David Petraeus. Not, of course, to forget the heads of Google and Amazon and BP and Goldman Sachs and you get the idea. Now, delegates famously don't disclose details of what happens behind closed doors and what's discussed, fueling the conspiracy theories that behind those doors are plots for world domination. But this year, has Bilderberg gone mainstream? Because for the first time ever, we had some press contact. And to speak to me more about that, I'm joined by Charlie Skelton. He's a pro-transparency campaigner. You've been covering this closely for a number of years now. Break it down for us and, you know, kind of separate the conspiracy theories from what we actually do know, because there are talks of plots for world domination. But what actually does happen at these Bilderberg conferences? I can't really say what goes on. What goes on out here is a, is a growing frustration that the, the, the media relation between this group and, and, and the press and public is so poor. We are assaulting the Bilderberg group with the searing lights of publicity oh, right. That's us. that will yeah. burn them up in the yeah. light of yeah. like Count Dracula at high noon. There's a lot of unhappiness that there's such a huge operation for, you know, heads of banks and heads of state and, you know, very, very wealthy people, uh, and a lot of, you know, the public very concerned at that, that there's a lot of money in policing going into this meeting. What's interesting then is you have BP and Goldman Sachs money coming through a charity and, and paying for the Hertfordshire Police to keep the public away from a, from a conference which is being held in the name of public education. It doesn't really make much sense. Thank you very much for joining us. So some important first steps, whether any more will be revealed during the three-day conference about what exactly does get discussed amongst world leaders remains to be seen. But we'll of course be following this story very closely for you from here in Watford in the UK. Sarah Firth, RT.